Howdy, I'm Lee Wilson, and this is TGO Wyoming. And today, we're going to talk about everyday carry, or EDC. This has become really popular over the last several years, and I'm sure you guys all know what EDC is. It's the items that you carry on you every single day on your person. Not in your bag, not in your backpack, but in your pockets every day. EDC items are different for everybody. Your needs are different from mine, my needs are different from yours, but there might be some common ground and we can find some new ideas by sharing our EDCs. So the items that I carry can be substituted with different brands, different styles, but the core concepts remain the same. So if I carry a knife or two knives or three knives or four knives, I'm gonna carry those knives. It doesn't matter what brand it is. It doesn't matter if my multi-tool is a Leatherman or a Gerber or something else. The concepts are the same though the items may actually change. How much you carry on your body is heavily influenced by what kind of pants you wear. If you wear blue jeans or cargo pants, I always use the proper STL. They have lots and lots of pockets, they're a stretch fit, and I can carry kind of a gratuitous amount of stuff on me, but I use all of it. So how you dress will determine how much you can actually carry on your person. So we're gonna start out the pocket dump with my front left pocket. The most important thing I carry with me, of course, is my keys. Now, on my keychain, I have a couple of things, right? So I've got the main Land Cruiser keys right there. I have a Photon Micro Light. This one happens to be green. I've got a really cool, uh, basically, it's a light-up key fob. Charge it up, and it'll stay lit. Got keys to my Suburban, <clears throat> keys to the wife's car, house keys, and a couple of various keys to locks. And I also have this all on an old 550 cord key fob that I made years ago. I also carry a bottle of e-liquid. This happens to be the Wild West flavor from Wyoming Vapor Company. Strawberry grape with a hint of peach. It's my favorite. I've been vaping it for almost four years. I have not smoked in almost four years now, so... I just do that instead, down to six milligrams a nick. I also carry a little bit of Aquaphor. This is basically Carmex on steroids. Stuff is fantastic during the winter here. It gets really, really dry, and this makes a huge, huge difference in just keeping your lips from cracking and bleeding. I always carry a lighter. Again, haven't smoked in years, <clears throat> but you should always have some way, some method of starting a fire, and a Bic lighter is a good, reliable system for that. I've got a Boker tactical pen. This thing is awesome. And inside of it, I actually have a Fisher space pen cartridge. So, blue ink. This thing is great. It writes anywhere. It writes exceptionally well and it's just one of my favorite pens. Plus, tactical pens have some great self-defense uses. On a separate keychain, I have my work keys. And this is hanging out on a US Optics Eric Knob keychain that also doubles as a bottle opener. Keep a 1966 half dollar for no other reason than flipping. When you need to flip a coin, half dollar is a heck of a lot cooler than just a quarter. I also have some spare change. Not much, I spent some of it, but I always keep a little bit of loose change on me. So my front right pocket stays fairly sparse. In that, I carry my Zero Tolerance 0560 Hinder Designed Knife. It's a fantastic blade, LMAX steel, titanium scales, G10 handle, I mean, this thing is just an awesome, awesome knife. Doesn't get used a lot. This is my defensive knife, or I really, really need a sharp blade knife. I always like to keep one knife on hand that is just exceptionally sharp and does not get used terribly often or abused. I also keep my Vanquist Cash wallet. So this is an older Vanquist wallet. It's showing a little sign of wear, but it's still got a lot of life left in it. So basic cards, one thing I do carry in here, hidden down in the very bottom, is a Searpix set. I got this from Brian Black over at ITS Tactical, order it from his web store. Fantastic titanium lockpick set, and I just keep this all together 
with a spring off of a off of a pen, like a Bic pen. So definitely not for heavy-handed picking, but there have been multiple occasions where it's been really, really handy to have lock picks on me. This wallet is also RFID blocking, so I don't have to worry about any of my RFID cards getting scanned while they're in there. As long as it's folded over and good on the inside here, this thing just pretty, is pretty much rock solid. My left cargo pocket contains a spare mag for my Glock 43, loaded with 135 grain Hornady Critical Duty. It's good ammunition, shoots really well out of the 43, and this mag has the pinky extension on it. I also carry 12 feet of 550 cord. This stuff is useful. Everybody knows that 550 cord is good to have on hand. Carrying 12 feet of it wrapped up like this is small, simple, light, and has come in handy and saved my butt multiple times. I also have a, another set of spare keys. This has some spare Suburban keys and some other essential keys on there. Uh, I could really consolidate this down, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I also have a barrier for CPR, for rescue breathing. And I think these things are very, very important to have on you at all times in case you do have to administer CPR. My right cargo pocket contains a spare set of Land Cruiser keys, a mini Vanquist wallet. This is another RFID blocking. This has a spare Suburban key, my Comtronics RFID gun range key, and a Randall Adventurers and Training Survival Card. This is just a great little reference card, has the survival tips. Got this years ago with one of my rat knives. I think I actually got this with my SE5. So I just kind of keep it in there as a reference. I also have some facial tissues or a Kleenex, not Kleenex brand, but allergies happen, or sometimes you just need to have a tissue to wipe something down. If you are out at the range and you have a little bit too much grease on something, man, that can be a lifesaver. Good for just cleaning things up. I also carry my little Victorinox here. Now, this is just the standard two-blade version, but it has the Phillips head screwdriver on there. The magnifying glass, which has come in very useful. The scissors, which get used a lot. And, of course, when out camping, I've actually used pot holder a fair bit. The corkscrew has come in handy a couple of times, and the awl is all useful, eh, bad pun, for punching holes and things. I have a little chunk of paracord on here. The STL pants have a dual back pocket system. So you have a slash pocket that is open on the back for larger items, and then you have a zippered pocket to make sure you have secured items. In those back pockets, I keep my Phoenix PD32. This is a 900 lumen light and operates off of a single 18650 style battery. This is a AWT 18650 3.7 volt, 3000 milliamp hour, 40 amp rated hydrogen battery. Great batteries, not terribly expensive. I get them for about 13 bucks. And it really does a great job pushing this flashlight. This is the 2016 model, so it has the updated button, and it works really well. I usually leave it set on the second to lowest uh, brightness level. Then I have my Leatherman Skeletool. Again, I'm a little tool heavy, but I use all of these tools pretty much, if not daily, then at least several times a week. So the Skeletool has a good set of pliers, wire cutters, has the screwdriver function here. with interchangeable bits, so you have your flathead and your Phillips. I don't usually use this blade very much, but it's there if I need it, and it has serrations, and this is the only serrated blade I carry on me. This also doubles as a bottle opener. Of course, generally I'll use my Eric Knob keychain. My right back pocket and zipper pocket contain a little bird design Spyderco. This is the replacement for my Tenacious. It's a cheap beater knife. This sees a lot of box opening action and is basically just my beat around knife, my daily utility. Not in the pocket, but in the vicinity of the pocket is a Palmer Night Eyes S Beaner. I use this attached to one of my belt loops and it usually allows me to carry my water bottle pretty easily. 
I also have a 32 gigabyte PNY USB 3.0 thumb drive. This thumb drive contains a lot of information. I have photo backups on there. I have reference manual backups. I have copies of my <clears throat> ATF paperwork for my SBRs. So yeah, my tax stamps are on there if I ever need them. I've got emergency phone lists, contact lists, maps. It's a substantial amount. And I have lots of room to spare, so if I need to download something or move files from one computer to another on a daily basis, I've got the extra space to do it. Also in my back pocket is a little mini card wallet that has seen better days. And this basically just has my TGO Wyoming business cards and some various business cards from other people and uh, more TGO Wyoming business cards. Just kind of hangs out in the back pocket. It's there if I need them. Keeps the bulk out of my main wallet. The next two items are always with me is my SX Mini M Class with a Nautilus Mini tank. So I quit smoking four years ago, and this has been with me for a long time, at least several years. I've been using this. It's pretty beat up, but man, does it work. Runs on a single 18650, has 60 watts of power. I run it at 15 watts. Six milligrams of nicotine and 50-50 PGVG blend out of the Nautilus works great, and that's always with me. The next thing is my Glock 43. I carry this in two different holsters. I am currently testing out the uh, SHTF gear, which is now Black Arch holsters. So the Black Arch, holst Black Arch holsters, man, if I could talk today, Protos M, and this is an incredibly comfortable holster. It's very small very easy to wear and definitely works well and protects the 43 completely. The final items in my EDC are of course my wedding ring and this is camouflage made by JI. This is a tungsten ring. It pretty much rocks. Absolutely love it. The other item is my Citizen Nighthawk watch. This is a solar watch. It's pretty heavy. Um, it looks nice though. This is a, an excellent timepiece that my wife got for me right before we got married. And this was just a really nice wedding watch, essentially. It is a blacked out face, which can make it a little difficult to read at times. It does have illuminated uh, hands and numbers, has a really nice crystal on it. And since it's solar, I just make sure that it gets a little bit of sun every day and it's always there for me. Pretty standard stopwatch function and a 24 hour gauge right there. And I, I like this watch, but I will be getting a different watch for outdoor adventures here in the near future. The final component in my EDC load is my cell phone. Dun, dun, dun. This is a ZTE Grand X4. It's a uh, brand new phone to me. I just got it made by uh, ZTE, got it from Cricut. Overall, I'm actually very, very pleased with this phone. So I'm not a big smartphone guy. I ran on a Samsung Galaxy S3 for years and years until it finally just kind of quit working. This is trippy. You can see the delay in the GoPro Hero 5 in the GoPro app. So cool. Oh yeah. But it's very useful to have a smartphone on you at all times. Most everybody has a smartphone. This thing works really well, and it was a whopping $80. I honestly can't see the point of buying a flagship phone from Samsung or Apple when this thing, I mean, this does literally everything I need it to do, and then some. Two gigs of RAM, decent uh, Qualcomm processor, 16 gigs internal, which is not great, but I do have a 32 gig micro SD card on board. And I tell you what, it makes phone calls. It runs the GoPro app. I can run all my social media on it. I can send text messages. And I can run several other apps like the, uh, the Hunt Maps. And yeah, that really just, I mean, it does it. And I just don't need anything a whole hell of a lot more than this. I don't mobile game. If I'm going to game, I'm going to use my PC because it's a beast. So simple, effective, and inexpensive. So in the end, is this a little crazy? Maybe so. I carry a lot of stuff, 
but I carry what I need and I carry what I find useful. And yes, I really do use most of this stuff either daily, weekly, with the exception of the ZT, which is there for emergencies. And of course, the barrier. So, which I really, honest to God, hope I never have to use, but I've got it if I need it. Everything else gets used fairly regularly. And I carry what I need, so I have it when I need it. And this has been several years of honing the EDC. You guys can go back and look at my old EDC video from several years ago and see how things have morphed and changed. So it's very personalized. It's all about carrying what you need. That's the great thing about EDC is your EDC is not going to match my EDC, but maybe I gave you some good ideas. I always get good ideas when I watch other people's EDC videos. So it's always kind of a good idea to share that information, share that idea base and see what everybody else comes up with. And I'm glad I can share with you guys what I carry on a daily basis. So hopefully you guys have found this video entertaining and or educational. If you have, let me know in the comment box below. I appreciate hearing from you. And of course, you can also consider subscribing to stay up to date on all of my latest videos. There's going to be a lot this year. I've got a lot of content to put out. It's going to be awesome. And if you want to help this channel grow, please consider sharing this video on your favorite social media platform. YouTube pretty much supports them all. So whatever it is, you know, you can go ahead and share it on there. And of course, you can also follow TGO Wyoming on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. And I'm having a hell of a good time with Instagram thanks to the new ZTE Grand X4. Cool little phone, allows me to get some nifty shots, and I got to stop being cut quite such a snob about cameras because the thing actually has some really good manual controls. So again, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. As always, stay safe, shoot straight, and I'll see you next time.